Now, let's face it, a lot of us have simply run out of holiday gift ideas, but we want to make an we want to have an opportunity to create memories with our family. If you're one of the millions of Americans who would rather focus on an experience over stuff, travel travel expert Davy Sutton came to us with the help to give us some help with some holiday ideas to get us ready to travel in 2023. I caught up with her when she was on Castaway Key, Disney's cruise line and private island in the Bahamas aboard the new Disney Wish. And yes, it was probably the most jealous I have ever been. <laughs> Check it out. Davey, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. So look, I'm already jealous. You got to tell me a little bit about where you are right now. It looks beautiful behind you. It actually really is beautiful. So you can rest assured for that. I'm at beautiful Castaway Key, which is Disney's private island exclusively for Disney Cruise Line passengers. And I'm aboard the Disney Wish, which is the newest ship in the Disney Cruise Line collection. And when you're on board, you're going to get access easily to all the things we love about Disney. Like, for example, you could be walking down the hallway going somewhere and turn the corner and run into your favorite princess. Another thing is that on board, there's something to do for everybody in your travel crew. So there's adult only experiences, there's stuff for the teens and tweens, and there's stuff for the little kiddies as well. And additionally, uh, when you all in the day, you come back together and then you can experience one of the Broadway style shows. I will tell you yesterday, I got to see the Little Mermaid and we all know that, you know, Ariel's the star. She has her beautiful voice. She's the siren and sings the songs. But Ursula, the actress who played Ursula, actually brought down the house. I have to tell you, there's some, I don't know what it is with me as a kid. I was just fascinated with Ursula. She was like my favorite. I don't know what it is. What? <laughs> well, she was my favorite yesterday as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I had no idea that Disney had its own island. So can you tell me, you know, it's the holidays and they say that it's just us millennials, but I think everyone is into more um, experiences rather than gifts. Can you tell me why that is or why you think it is? Well, I think we could start off with with all, everything that we all know is that things are costing more. So people are considering what they're actually investing their money in. And so instead of just collecting things and putting them in the closet, I think travelers are considering investing more in upgrades and hotels and flights and booking experiences like this with their extended family. So booking something like this on a Disney cruise, when you're on the cruise, you can really lean into the themes of the cruise. Like right now, it's all about the holiday magic. So we had Mickey and Minnie. We did a tree lighting ceremony saying car Christmas carols. Um, and then if you have friends or family who are superhero fans and love all the Marvel things, everything to do with Marvel. So there's the Marvel Day at Sea. And then brand new for 2023, there's going to be a Pixar Day at Sea cruise where you will have experiences with your favorite Pixar characters from Monsters, Inc. and Toy Story and more. I love this. So my family is so into Disney. <laughs> my brothers and I, <laughs> we are... We are real grown, but every year, my sister's like, oh, you guys want to go for vacation? We're like, Disney, sign us up. We're going again in March. <laughs> I can I will tell you, you're not the only one. <laughs> I know. There has to be a lot of, uh, you know, especially for Disney, all ages, right? This is not just for kids. Oh, absolutely not. And that's why they have adult only experiences. And I've run into people who are just here on girls trips. And yes, they do have children, but the children are not here. It's just for the adult girls. And there's plenty to do on the ship just for adults. Really quick before we leave, can you tell me if there are any trends going on right now for 2023 that we might see in the future? Yeah, you know, I think when you're booking travel, you want to book something based around your hobbies and then you'll have the best time. So, for example, if you're a foodie, then you might want to consider going to Europe and making a stop in Italy and taking a cooking class with an authentic Italian chef. Or if you're an adventurer like me, I'm sure Alaska is on your travel wish list. And so you'll want to book excursions where you can uh, see animals, uh, wild animals and whale watching or go uh ice trekking. Um, but sometimes we just want to get away and have a wellness and relaxation trip. And going to the Caribbean is always a good 
idea. First, it's really easy for Americans to access and, and get to. And second, most of the year, you're going to get this great weather. Yes, 2023, I have dedicated myself to uh, more traveling. I'm going to get out there because I'm like you, love the adventure. But sometimes also it's just a good mental day to just be like, I am relaxing. I love all of it. Thank you so much, Davey, for being here. Can you tell everyone out there where they can go for more information? Yeah, thanks for having me. So to book your next, next Disney Cruise Line vacation, go to DisneyCruise.com or contact your travel agent. I love that. Mom, I hope you're watching. That's where we're going next. <laughs> Thank you, Davey, so much. Thanks for having me.